But if I had like a favorite memory of just like my dad in general from like as a kid, I would say that it's just his generosity when I <laughs> no, daddy, I'm serious. Like, I think that's one trait that I want to like carry on to my children and be that way as a human being in general is that you just like I remember being a kid and like seeing you give Christmas presents to the mailman and the gardeners. And they were just like thoughtful gifts too. It was like a collared T-shirt that he bought them. <laughs> just wow. little things. He knew the mailman's size. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like he would he would pick out he would pick out like Christmas gifts for everybody. And you've just always been so generous, and you've always been that way. And I I hope to be that way with my children as well and people around me. You are very nice, and you know seems that you are biased for your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I am biased. <laughs> well, Randy, we know you've got a dental appointment, so just want to say Happy Father's Day and have a great Thank weekend, pal. Thank you very much. Thank okay, you. Buddy. I really appreciate you. Good wishes, and and I hope you continue having success. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Randy. Bye bye. Bye, Daddy. Love you. It's so Aww. interesting to it just you just he exudes happiness. That I guy. Know. I mean, he really does. It's so interesting to hear you call him Daddy. Yeah. Like I call my dad Dad. I I don't think I'd ever call him Daddy. I do say Daddy. Like yeah. I, I find that like Tanya. Yeah, I say Daddy. Right, but I don't know a lot of guys that say like Tubbs. Do you call your dad Daddy? Mm, not Daddy. <laughs> what do you say? Pop. <laughs> Pop. Dad. <laughs> What's up, Pop? Pop. I always saw Pop in the movies, and I thought, who's, I don't know anyone that Michael, calls his dad Pop. Michael calls his dad Pa. Pa. I call my mom Ma. <laughs> but that's just because I, just as a fun thing. Yeah. But you know, Pop, I did, I never, Pop. and what is it, where did you grow up? Bakersfield. Pop. <laughs> what do you call your, you yeah. say dad to your dad? Yeah, sometimes I'll say dad, but you know, like if I call him, like, What's up, Pop? What do you call soda? A soda. soda. A Coke. You know, some people call them pops. It really gets really confusing. Yeah. Hey, I want a pop. You want a daddy or you want a Coca-Cola? <laughs> All right, Miss Tati's next. Libra, Pisces, and Scorpios. So we're celebrating honoring uh, dads. Father's Day coming up on Sunday. Carlos Rodriguez, Patty's dad. Now, you describe him as a, as a simple guy. Goes to work, comes home, and loves watching soccer. Oh, yeah. That's all he loves to do. And what, do you, what are some of your fond memories growing up of Carlos? Oh, everything. You know, he came to this country... Uh, when he was a teenager. Where was he born? He was born in uh, a little rancho in uh, Jalisco. It's called Cruz Vieja, which means old lady. And how did he come <laughs> as a teenager? He just he, he did it the, the old-fashioned way, through the desert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, he's now a U.S. citizen, uh, but it took a very long time for him to, uh, to get to that place. And um, he worked so hard to just give us the, just the basic necessities. Um, I remember, uh, you know, one thing that him and I connected with was the love of soccer. I love soccer. And, you know, that's something that him and I always did together. I always managed to go to the games whenever Mexico played here. Mm -hmm. um, and I was 13 years old and I was listening to the radio station and they were giving away uh, tickets to see Mexico play at the Rose Bowl. And I was trying so hard to get them and I finally got through and I got the tickets. And uh, they told me that I needed to pick him up at the radio st uh, station um, in Burbank. And at 13 years old, I'm like, where the heck is Burbank? It's like in another country. Uh, so the only way I could go is like asking my dad to take me. We only had one car. Um, and my dad couldn't miss work. And it was just, you know, at that, you know, when you're uh, Mexican, you just sometimes don't even want to miss work. You don't want to rock the boat. You don't want to rock the boat. It's like, you know, I can't miss work, Patty. I can't. And I said, and I started crying to my dad and I was like, you know, this, I want to go to this game. Like I want the tickets. I was being so selfish. So that day he left work early. He picked me up from school. We were driving on the 110. It was literally like this time of year, that year. And it was really, really hot. And the 110 was bumper to bumper and his car just completely turned off. And we had to have people from and behind us help us push the car to the right lane. And I was so upset at him. I was so mad and selfish because we weren't getting the tickets because we because his car broke down. But you were a teenager. You were, just being a stupid were... teenager. And he told me, he's like, I'm so sorry, Mija. And oh. we couldn't get the ticket. Have you have you said this to him before? Have you ever has he ever heard you tell this story? <laughs> no. But it, wow. like it, it kills me to this day when I think well, about it, how back. selfish I was. Sure. Like he missed work, and 
We had yeah, this old Volkswagen. To, he, was tr- he was trying to do everything. He, he was doing everything he could, right? To make yeah. you to happy. Make ev- of course, he was trying to make. He was trying to work for the family, make you happy. He was doing everything he could. And as a, now, as a parent, as an adult, you look back and you obviously see the how difficult that is. But I will say this: you know, you have an incredible work ethic, and that must come from him. Yeah, and I mean, seeing, hearing that story. That you know, that's what they, I think both my parents taught me that, and I wish I could go back and see things differently. But now all I can do is just love them more. Every well, day while they're still here. And I think yeah. let them know, you know, how much you appreciate. Like, what I just hear is the appreciation that you have mm-hmm. and seeing it crystal clear as an adult. And his team is Mexico. They're playing Cuba tomorrow night, right? Yeah, here at the Rose Bowl. Bowl. He won't be here. He's in Mexico, but he's going to be watching the game with my grandparents. All right. Well, we'll be, we'll be rooting for his team for you. <laughs> um, thank you, Patty. Carlos Rodriguez, we salute and honor you. Happy Father's Day, Happy Mr. Father's Rodriguez. Day. But we have Bronco Rad. Do you call him Bronco Rad? No, I call him Daddy. But say your name correctly. Radisavijevic. Bronco Radisavijevic. Mm-hmm. Bronco Radisavijevic. Mm-hmm. Mr. Radisavijevic. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> are, are you in Serbia now? No, I'm actually in Montenegro, which Whoa. is the southern part. I, I'm at yeah. the seaside. I don't feel so bad for Bronco. He's in Montenegro yeah. at the beach. Right wow. Now. He's like, I'm at the beach, huh. and I'm hot and sweaty. Yes. Oh, sorry about that. Well, that's all right. I mean, look, that's a great way to celebrate the holiday. Uh, well, that's true. That's true. It's been part of my vacation so far. Well, how long are you in Montenegro? I've been here for about three days now. He sounds relaxed. I will mean, be here for so more days. Are you playing I'm tennis? I'm going back to Serbia, and then I'm going back to L.A. Okay, gotcha. Well, thank you for the schedule. Are you playing tennis as well every day? Oh, no. I was, I'm just swimming the last few days. It was really nice. The water was pleasant. The sun was hot. It was very, very nice to be so in the water. I, so I swam most of the time. I'm working so much to be Bronco. I just realized now. Mm-hmm. Like this is. I want to call you guys doing that. Yeah. So, Tanya. Okay. He's 70 years okay. old and still swimming uh, and kicking and doing all the things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We just wanted to call and wish you a happy Father's Day because I'm sad that I can't be with you. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, it's it's sad that we cannot be together, but it is what it is. And I'll see yeah. you next week. He's weekend. fine. He's yeah. fine with it. Yeah. You had to work. You want to go to the beach. All good. He's like, oh, it's Father's it's Day? It's 95 degrees and sunny in Montenegro. I know. Life is fine. It's, no problem. It's thank so sad because I feel like we do all these things for Mother's Day, and my dad never wants anything. Like, my dad's literally, like, he never wants anything. He never wants anyone to go out of his way, and he's literally the most special human being that you will ever meet in your entire life. Like, Literally. Well, but you took me to Disneyland. You took me places. You guys did a lot of good things for me last year. Did a major, major thing for my birthday. So I really appreciate that. That oh. was nice. Oh, you're welcome. Well, I love you so much. Thank you. All right. Well, go take a nice swim, Bronco. Thanks for coming on. Happy Father's Day. I definitely will. All right. And you guys don't work so hard, okay? Well, yeah. All right. <laughs> Talk later. Bye. <laughs> Not a tough job. <laughs> he's so sweet, and he's fine with you being here and him being there. Totally. <laughs> he's just, like, on the beach in a Speedo. When someone says, it is what it is, they haven't given it much thought. Yeah, good. it is what it is. I don't hey. even think he realized it's Father's Day this weekend. It is <laughs> what it is. Not losing sleep over it. I'm good. He's like, oh, no problem. that's fine. Nope, won't think about it. Don't worry, I got you. Meanwhile, Tanya's crying over here. I she know. Misses him. So sad. Because <laughs> they've been gone for, like, two weeks. Yeah, it sounded like he was really relaxed. <laughs> I heard him blinking and everything. <laughs> Garibaldi's on the line. My mom calls him Garibaldi. What is that his full name? No, it's just what she calls him. Oh, it's like a nickname. Yeah, it's a historical name. And we are honoring the daddies, the dads, the fathers. Yes. You know, our, our little family here has changed. Sissini now celebrates Father's Day in a different way, where she buys gifts from her twins for her husband mm-hmm. as gifts from them for Father's Day. I know. She's now hosting Father's Day at her place. I love it. Out of her convenience. And yes, that way we don't have to go anywhere. I think it's fair. <gasps> Uh, Tanya, she uh, things have evolved. She used to celebrate it with her dad. He's now on a beach in Montenegro. <laughs> <laughs> and it is what it is, he said. And, and he had no idea that it was Father's Day this It weekend. is what it is. I mean, the guy's in a Speedo with goggles uh, in the sea. I know, yeah. poor thing. It, he was, like, it, texting me. He's like, I could barely hear Ryan. I don't know. No, is that he's okay? having sardines like, yeah. and olive oil. He's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Barefoot. What do you think he's eating in Montenegro? For sure, Lakia. Lakia. Yeah. In Montenegro? Yeah. Isn't sh- Lakia heavy? Uh, I've never actually tried it, but it's like a. <laughs> <laughs> but you're sure he's having it? For sure, that, that's like his what drink is of it? choice. What is it? Rakia is like a it's like a strong liquor. 
Oh, for sure he's having that. For you sure. should try it. I should. I'm yeah, not... I mean, you're, in, you're into the unfiltered sake. <laughs> What's next? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you never know. Oh, Garibaldi's on the line. Let me get Gary Seacrest. Hey, Dad. Hey, Ryan. Hey, hey, good morning. Happy Father's Day early. Well, thank you very much. I just want you to know that I've been doing this show for over 15 years, and, you know, each year we call you to wish you Happy Father's Day, and I kind of decide, you know, the show's... A lot of people work on the show. I like to delegate. I don't have to do everything. Like People, they want to do their things, their jobs. And so other people book the guests on the show now, and you weren't on the list, and the, everybody else's dad was on the list. And I, I, thought, I, th- I thought, well, maybe you're too busy, or you're a Montenegro. I don't know. <laughs> but you're, you're, you're a late ad, and yeah, we're glad you're here. Yeah, well, thank you. I'm glad I made the list. Me too. <laughs> I'm going to have to check the list the night before next year. <laughs> <laughs> Next year. Forget this checking in the morning list thing. Yeah, who's, who's the keeper of the list? Well, well that, that person. that's right. Mm-hmm. We'll, have, we'll have a talking. Um, so <laughs> I said to the team earlier, I said, you know, uh, I remember a lot of our greatest memories revolve around food, wouldn't you say? Uh, yes, absolutely. As a family. And I remember that breakfast on Father's Day was you would always want home fries, onions, a fried egg sandwich, and mustard. Sounds familiar. Is that is that true? That's true. <laughs> so does mom make that for you now? Like, what's happening this Father's Day? I don't know. Your sister's coming home with your niece uh, for her first visit. A mm. uh, little Flora's going to be here, so I'm not sure what we'll be playing. Yeah, it all changes when the kids have kids, doesn't it? Yeah, a little Flora's pretty much in charge of what we get to do and where we go. So we'll see what happens. Well, at least one of us. Did it. Um, (laughs) So is there anything you want for Father's Day? No, we're just looking forward to the visit with your sister and our grandchild. (laughs) A grandchild. That'll be the the, the fun part. Well, yes, your first Father's Day is a G-Paw. Yeah, first G-Paw Father's Day and first visit to our house. So uh, as you know, Ryan, your room is now a nursery, so we're well prepared. You know, my life has really changed. It's like they won't even book you on the show. My room doesn't (laughs) exist back home. I'm I'm lucky it's still called On Air with Ryan Seacrest at this point. <laughs> the working you know, title. The takeover working continues. <laughs> you better check, better check that. Um, all right. Well, have a great Father's Day. Have a great weekend. And uh, I'll touch base with you over the weekend. All right? Happy Father's Day. Thank you very much. Love you. Bye, love, love you guys. You. Take care. Right. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. He's got a good radio voice, that Gary Seacrest. Yeah, I see where you got it from. I feel like he could fill in on the countdown. <gasps> That would be such a good count. Wait, you should have all your family members go in. Actually, that's a great idea. That's a really good idea. Your they mom? Could do the American Top 40 when I'm in Montenegro one year. Yes. <laughs> Drinking a lakia dietavakia. That would be so cool. Lakia. Lakia. <laughs>